Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Ostrov. Welcome back to Vilya. This will be episode 12 in the series, and this is the last one I have planned for a while. Uh, we're going to see what happens in this episode, and after that, we're going to take a break from Ostrov until there is another uh, big update from the game. And in the meantime, we'll play other things. So what we're going to do here is we are kind of just watching right now to see how things go in terms of adding stuff. Now, I do feel like we're starting to get to the point where I want a reforestation area. We've cleared a lot of the trees around there. Hey, look, we have another house available. We need at least one chapel for 100 population. Yeah, we should have done a chapel instead of a whole church. Let's put a chapel over here by the trade center. Just so that like vi uh, visitors can have a place of worship. Though, it's also kind of a... You know what? We'll put it over here. Right there. Hay barrack is complete. So we can store our hay now. We have a little bit there. Move it right over there. Start growing new hay. Not that we really even need hay right now because we don't have any animals to feed, but it's good to have it. I have a little bit there. I'm gonna get that chapel started. Then that will help us grow further. Getting a nice little road developing here. I don't know if that will last because I don't know how many people use that. I have a lot of fun seeing the roads in this game and in Foundation where they are procedurally developed instead of uh, hand placed. All right, the chapel is complete, so that is good chapel yeah you need at least one to grow beyond 100 so we've got that over there that'll be good now we can get back to the town hall which is probably using up nails that we don't really have a lot of iron to be continuing to produce yeah look at this 200 iron left And then we're going to be broke. We won't be able to build more nails or metal parts. We can't buy any because of not having any money. The town hall is complete. So we can have seasonal hiring if we have counselors. Sure, we will get a mayor here. Manage seasonal hiring. Population that doesn't show me much. And that's nothing new. Alright, well. And that also... That shows where the builders are. I wonder if we'll be able to get more builders or what... Can we get more government stuff now? No. All right, well, we'll see where where that part of the game goes eventually. Still anxiously awaiting a new messenger. Nobody has come for a while. We have plenty of stuff to sell now. Also, we are getting close to another harvest. Although here we only appear to have gotten two fields sown. So that's a little troubling. Yeah, see, they... I don't know what we need to in, or, in order to make that go faster. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, see, I don't think... Higher options. Laborers. Yeah, we can do laborers. 
Meantime, these guys are poor. They're out of money. We can't give them any financial help. We can. Stick around. We'll give you a little boost. I mean, we need... So we have a little bit of housing. We have no jobs. And I don't really have anywhere to put more people. I suppose we could come down to production. And we could get another farm. But we're not really fully utilizing the farm that we have. That's the problem. Quick lime and water. Huh. Yeah, see, I mean, we... We are fully stocked at that place. Let's go ahead and add buckwheat to our trading list. As well as so buckwheat is pretty good. Actually, let's keep that at 500. And not wheat. Wheat we're going right through because we're making flour with that. Yeah, so buckwheat will be fine. Could put potatoes in there, but I feel like I want to sell the potatoes to our people. Sunflower oil we can sell entirely to as trade. Okay, so hopefully I mean, we've only had that one trader come. We need more. We definitely need more traders. And I don't want to spend the money to send our own trade manager out to another community because then that's even more money to be spending. And I don't like that. In the meantime, we have this tiny little town hall for our village. Although I suppose for 100 people having a town hall, that's pretty nice. I don't know, guys. So my game, uh, my, uh, my game, it's not my game. It, I want to give my opinion on the game a little bit. And my opinion is that the game is just a little, yeah, soil is exhausted. Well, maybe that's because nobody planted there like they were supposed to. Uh, anyway, my opinion on the game is that there is definitely more that could be done here. We're going to sell this here. There's potential in this game, but it needs a lot more work. So some buckwheat. So the flour we have available here. Okay. So hurry up and get your goods over there. gonna sell that stuff and make a couple hundred probably now we're near what we need and the game moves so slow there really should be a faster speed than this but I mean it, there's a lot to go uh, like uh, a lot of development needs to take place on this game yet before it reaches a point of really being, really reaching its potential. The graphics are pretty good. The, um, there's a lot of cool features to it, but, and I like the time period, but yeah, there's more work needs to be done on it before it is fully there. Anyway, we have 109 people, no more housing. We have open vacancies, but I have no idea where they are. We have a lot of fields that are going exhausted because they didn't get planted properly in the rotation. Here come the people buying our stuff. So we we'll see those export numbers go up a bit. 472. Still not enough. 
still not enough. So I feel like the economy needs to be... Here, there, we got enough exported. We're breaking even just barely right now. Have we restocked here? We have hemp available, but Trader didn't want hemp. We're getting more sunflower oil in stock. A little bit more buckwheat. And we have a lot more fields that are exhausted. Like this one, what are you going to grow next? That will be fallow next. This one is going to try to grow potatoes. That won't go very well. Same thing here. It's just, it, they didn't make it through their rotation properly. Now we have some issues there, but we have a lot of buckwheat. We have a lot of wheat that can be turned into flour. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll get another mill. Let's get that over here. So that'll help production a little bit there. And then... Yeah, see, I'd like to be doing animals, but we can't because we don't have enough cash. So I don't know. I mean, maybe the game is a little bit better when you are... I don't know. When you get things perfectly right from the beginning, but we're not there. And we're just going to see where we end up more fields unavailable we need more traders come on guys it is interesting to see how the town has developed and i definitely will give this one another shot but like i said i want to wait until we get another update maybe a, a bigger update so we'll see what the what the future brings for this game. In the meantime, of course, we have no stone to build the church that I was hoping to get. We don't have enough people. Let's go ahead and get some more people. I know they cost money to like give them salaries and stuff like that. Let's get a neighborhood out this way, I guess. Yeah, we'll get that out this way. Start here, uneven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get them a well out this way. There we go. So that'll get built. I don't know if they'll have enough nails, but we'll get as many as we can. No jobs available anyway. But yeah, we're getting a little bit more flour going. So that we could probably up. Where are we at with flour? We have 30 available right now. What's our market have? Buckwheat, potato, flowers, firewood. Yeah, you know what? We're going, well, we'll leave that at 500. And in, we have 80 chicken. Where are we getting the chicken eggs? That's one thing I don't understand. We don't have any chickens. So, like, I don't know. Yeah, here, chicken eggs. Oh, we do. We have... We have sips. Okay. We have people working there. Look at that. We have chickens there. We don't have any livestock, though. We'll go ahead and give somebody a job there. And in the meantime, we're going to get these chicken eggs. 
What can we do with chicken eggs? Chicken eggs. Uh, meat and hides from animals. I don't think we can do anything with chicken eggs. We can sell them though. And we have a messenger here. Wheat. We don't have any wheat available for you. Buckwheat we have. We can have 500 of that. Charcoal. You can have all the charcoal you want. Chicken eggs. 10 cents each. That's not really all that exciting. You can have all the sunflower oil you want. Okay, so that... Now we're talking a little bit here. Chicken eggs. Okay, so we'll get that up. We might be able to sell them. They want 2,000. Yeah, we don't have any in storage. Come here and put chicken eggs in storage. I mean, at least get them here so that it's easier to get them into the trading area. That's probably an easy thing to do. I mean, we get three here. Interesting. I, don't, I have no idea where the chickens came from, but I am happy to have them. They're feeding buckwheat resource supply. We could do... Yeah, I use buckwheat. New family suddenly in. Economy is still in shambles. I feel like we've been exporting a lot. And then, okay, so right now we're waiting for that export to arrive. Or like the, the trading cards to arrive to actually buy the goods. But in the meantime, we are seeing another winter. How is our harvest? A lot of hemp. What can we do with hemp? I don't know that there's anything we can do. Oh, uh, hemp. Textile is from hemp here. We can get a weaver's workshop. Let's get that in here, into town. Start to see some buildings develop in here. In the center of town, we'll get that. And then, so that will produce textile. Then we can get a tailor's workshop in there too. Let's move those up. Higher priority. Get those in before we run out of nails. Okay, there we actually were positive. So we, I mean, it's not dead here. Can we do a basic monthly wage? Yeah, we can change some of that, but I don't think it's really worth messing with that right now. In the meantime, these guys aren't really... How many eggs do we have in here now? None. How many do we have here? 108. So, I mean, that's uh, a little bit nice. And now we're about to be able to start producing textile. Very good. And then we're going to wait until we can get clothes. They're building here. They have the stuff they need. They just need wood and clay, which they can get. I don't know how many nails we have left. How much? Yes, you are out of metal. Or out of iron. But this actually could be good. Yep, okay, hurry up. And then we're going to have clothes. Shoemaker needs leather. Yeah, okay. So now we're going to have clothes available. So we can come in here and we're going to have clothes. We will sell some of that. And here we want to put clothes, but we don't have any made yet. 
No textile. They have hemp. Not enough hemp to start. Okay, well, people, get your hemp over here. We have a lot of hemp just sitting around. There, we have some textile. They are working on clothes. Very good. Okay, so add clothes here once we can do that. Cl uh, come on. Where are the clothes? Clothes. There we go. Okay. And the first 500 of that is going right to trading. Because that is going to be a much more valuable resource because we have to get the hemp, we have to get make it into textile, and then we have to make it into clothes. So that will be worthwhile. All right, well, that is where we're going to leave it. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, we will hopefully do better the next time we play and have uh, more options for what we're doing and stuff like that. I think we've learned a lot through these 12 episodes. I think we've gotten a good idea of what the game is about. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to more eventually. But for now, we'll uh, take a break and do other things. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.